Presenting the transcription feature, Superman! Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! And now, Superman, valiant fighter for truth and justice, mighty champion of the weak and the oppressed, who came to Earth from the planet Krypton, and who walks about among men disguised as mild Clark Kent, news reporter for the Daily Planet. Slopes of Music Mountain, softened by heavy rains, have advanced on the town of New Birmingham, and particularly on that part surrounding the plant where precious radium is refined from the ores of black pitch blend. While Lois Lane helps frantic women pack up their belongings and get children safely on buses, Kent has found that truckloads of pitch blend ore worth thousands of dollars are being moved from the refinery that night, and that the mysterious group which works through Dr. Horace Morton plans to bring on a violent storm that will make its plundering easy. Not knowing how or where they plan to strike, not being able to tell Lois how much he knows, Kent works on assisting the desperately hurrying families. Not much time to go. He knows the records plan to strike at 10 o'clock. And so far, Lois refuses to believe him. Listen. Oh, Miss Lane, I don't know what to do. Where's Jimmy and Susie? Now, Mrs. McNamara, everything's all right. Your husband's gone on ahead with the furniture. The children, Miss Lane. I can't leave the children. They'll be all right. They're on the bus, aren't they? Well, they're on the bus, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh listen to it. That's the mouth. It's moving. Nonsense, nonsense. That's just thunder, Mrs. McNamara. Lois, remember what I said. There's a storm coming up. Don't bother me about that now. Go ahead, Mr. McNamara. You get on that bus, too. It's the last one. Go on. Oh, Miss Lane, it's a blessed angel you've been helping us like this. You come, too. No, oh, I'll be all right. We've got a car. Is everybody on? Go ahead, driver. Go on. Well, thank heavens we got them off. Whatever happens now, they won't be caught here. Lois, Miss Lane... I just thought of something else. Mr. Kent, it's no use. I just won't believe my Uncle Horace is mixed up with any gang of criminals. You can talk until you're blue in the face. But unless you've got something better to go on than a hunch, I'm not going to... Now, look here. You admit he can control the weather. You told me that much yourself. Why, well, no, but... Well, then, you also know that he's with the gang. Now, what if the gang is making him do it? What if they plan to bring down the mountain and block those trucks? Maybe tonight. Yes, and all those people on their buses, too, and the kids. Clark, they wouldn't do that. They couldn't. Well, they might. And if they were, what could we do about it? Oh, it... It's too terrible. What could we do? Lois, I've, I've had an idea. If there is anything in this, if your uncle is back of all this rain, where would he be working from? Well, well, how should I know? Well, nobody knows, but we can guess. All his equipment is back up at the observatory, isn't it? Right on the mountain itself. Oh, but Clark, he couldn't be there. They've had a guard up there ever since he disappeared. Oh, I know, I know, but guards can fall asleep, can't they? And anyway, we don't really know where his scientific stuff is or how he works it. It might be somewhere out in the woods. But, Mr. Kent... Even if the guard's right on the job, the place is locked and he's on the outside. What if there's a secret entrance? It's not impossible. Well, there, there might be. Oh, I don't know. What do you think we ought to do? What's the time? Wait. Quarter past nine. They're pulling it off at ten. What? What do you say? I... Oh, nothing. Look here, Miss Lane. Are you game for something? You know I am. What is it? I want to go up to that observatory right now. And look it over. You never can tell. We might find something. Yes, but what if we don't? Well, we're no worse off, are we? Come on. Back to the car and let's go. We can make it in half an hour, storm or no storm. It's thunder. There is a storm. Yes, or else it's the mountain starting another slide. Come on. Here's the car. Well, here we are back again. Find anything on your side? Shh, quiet. I think I saw a light. Did you? Where? I'm not sure. Look here. I'm going to try and break in. Maybe I can pry open a window. Do you think it's safe? Well, that won't be if the guards catch us. You go back to the road and keep an eye out. Hurry. All right. If I see anything, I'll either whistle or come back. Be careful, please. There she goes. Good girl. Plenty of grit. But I don't want her around when it's time for Superman to act. Did I see something? I'll say I did. Got to get around the corner. There's a light in the cellar. I didn't notice that window before. It was hidden behind a bush. Ah, here we are. Now, let's see. Great Scott. Collins is down there. The gang leader. With a gun. Yes, there he is. The devil standing right back of Morton. Morton's working at his equipment. Ah, and there's the police guard tied up in a corner. 
Well, my friend, you won't be carrying your plans much further. I'll get down where you are right through the wall in one crash. Here goes. Ah! Out for the light. Don't use that gun, Collins. Don't do it. I warned you. All right, take it. Ah. Now then, where's that lamp? Oh, never mind. I can see all right. Dr. Morton. Dr. Morton. Oh, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, what's, what's happened? Dr. Morton, it's me. Uh. Clark Kent. I guess there was an explosion. The whole wall went out. How are you? Are, are you hurt? Collins. Watch out. Oh, Collins. Oh, don't worry. He's out like a light. Mr. Kent, Laura, what's happened? I heard the crash. Lois, right down here. Down that hole. It's all right. Bring your flashlight. Lois. Lois. Oh, thank heaven you come. I'm a quick... Quick. Uncle Horace, are you all right? Oh, Clark, what's happened? They carried me off. Made me work. Made me create bad weather. Lois, they're criminals. And that man, Collins, he's the head. Oh, but be quick. Don't wait. Dr. Martin, what do you mean? The final storm. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock tonight. What? Uncle Horace, it's ten o'clock now. Trucks. Trucks loaded with radium. They're going to bring down the mountain. I've called up a storm. It's coming. Yes. Not only the trucks, the buses, all the children. Oh, Uncle, stop it. Turn it back. Dr. Morton, stop the storm. I can't. It's gone too far. If you come five minutes sooner. Clark, it's coming. It's here. Dr. Morton, where is it going to happen? Where are they going to catch the trucks? Quick, now, quick. Maybe I can head them off. The forest will pass beyond the refinery. Forest Hill Pass. <laughs> but you can't stop them too late. The whole side of the cliff is loose. They'll block the trucks and steal everything. Lois, you stay here. Watch your uncle. Untie Devlin there in the corner. Then have him tie up Collins. Oh, Clark, hurry. Hurry, you may be in time. All those children... Those... I'll hurry all I can. Out the way I came in. There. Out. We go. Forest Hill Pass, eh? Superman against the mountain. Not much time. Got to hurry. Out and up. Faster. Faster. Down the wind, faster than an airplane, Superman streaks toward the narrow cut known as Forest Hill Pass. Can he make it in time? Already the line of trucks creeps up the slope. Behind them, the swaying, rocking bus, brightly lighted, eager boys and girls, knowing nothing of the treacherous mass of rock and earth poised on the heights above. Oh, you keep quiet. Oh, I declare it's more than I can stand. Shut your noise, all of you. Oh, look where we are. Look out the windows. If it isn't Forest Hill Pass. Oh, children, we'll be safe out of here before we know it. Oh, look, it's starting to rain again. Ah, there are the trucks. Right in the pass. There's the school bus right behind them. Great heavens, look at that rain coming down in sheets. Uh, and there comes the mountain. It's moving. Got to get there. Down. Down. Those men on the trucks, they've stopped. They're running away. Well, I can use those trucks myself. If I can stop that slide just for a minute, the bus can get through. Down. Down. I can fling the trucks in the way and make a barrier. Too bad about the radio bar. I'll dump that. Maybe I can hold the mountain long enough for the buses to get by. Now. Now. Ah, there goes one truck. Ah, ah, ah. And another. Maybe I can make it yet. Still coming down. And here's the bus with the children in it. Now, now. Quick. Quick. With another truck. Ah, there. That ought to do it. Hurry, hurry. It's stopped for a second. Keep that thing going. Keep that bus going. You'll make it. Hurry. Ah, made it. They're safe. The bus with the children got through. They're all right. They got through. Okay, Music Mountain, come ahead and do your worst. You can't hurt anybody now. Another cup of tea? No, no, thank you, Lord. I'm feeling much better now. Well, what about you, Mr. Kent? Oh, I'm doing fine. Splendid attempt you made, Kent. I mean, to get down the mountain last night. Well, as it turned out, I, I didn't have to warn them. The trucks were wrecked, but the children got through, and after all, that was the main thing. It was very strange about the trucks, wasn't it? They looked as if someone had just picked them up and thrown them right at the mountain. Quite so. 
being considerate enough to dump them carefully first. How do you explain it, then? Me? Gosh, I don't explain it. I can't. But what about you, Dr. Morton? What about the Morton system of weather control? Now, don't forget, Lois and I want a good long interview about that for next Sunday's paper. How about starting talking right now, huh? No, I think not, Mr. Kent. I'm sorry, but I think not. Why, Uncle Boyce, what do you mean? Uh, Lois, I've made up my mind. I think the weather is best left to nature. When we try to interfere with nature's way of doing things, we make only trouble. But, Doctor, look here. I'm we... sorry, Mr. Kent. I realize I owe you much, but I owe humanity more. My secret is one that is better left unknown. The Morton system is dead, forgotten, destroyed. My story, I'm afraid, is one which will never be printed. So ends the adventure of Dr. Horace Morton, the man who made the weather. Kent and Lois are disappointed that they will have no story for Editor White. But another assignment is close at hand, even more thrilling, more dramatic. Tune in next time and follow the story of Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine.